Welcome everyone. The first step to access iCloud messages on your iPhone is inside of the settings app. You should see your name at the very top and you're gonna tap on this one. If you don't see your name, just scroll down and there should be an iCloud option which you can tap on instead. And so once we're here, we're gonna tap on iCloud. And if you see this show all, just tap on the show all. And then you're going to tap on messages and you're going to turn on sync this iPhone. You are now going to head over to the home page of settings and you're going to find where it says messages and you will need to sign in with your Apple ID and password here. If you're having errors such as unable to activate you know, iMessage or waiting for activation, then once this is signed in, I will show you the solution. So first of all, remove the SIM card if you can. If you have an eSIM, you can't. So if you can, remove the SIM card, then try and re-sign into iMessage by turning this one off and then back on. And if that doesn't work, go to General, Date and Time, and make sure your date and time is correct. So if it's not set automatically, just set the right date and time. And if that doesn't work, go to reset or transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset and then reset your network settings. After that is done, use Wi-Fi only or you know switch the Wi-Fi network and then try and uh, get the iMessage to work by turning off and back on the iMessage feature. And so once that's done, we can go into the Messages app. So this Apple ID doesn't have any iMessage history, which is why it shows no messages. But uh, if you just give it a little bit, it should restore any messages uploaded to the iCloud. You will note though, you do need to have your device plugged in to a charger for the sync to work. And it's a little bit annoying because sometimes even at like 80%, it will refuse to sync between your devices. Of course, I do use this feature personally, but do note if you have iMessages in the iCloud, then any government authority, even Apple can read your messages, even though the iMessage uses end-to-end -end encryption. So if you don't want people to read your messages, you will have to turn off the sync feature, but that does cost convenience, so I personally use it on my devices. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.